हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल के एस एस कुरकुर टुडे वील डिस्कस द चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी दैट इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक दिस चैप्टर इंक्लूड सिक्स सेडिंग्स नेमली वेराइटी इन फैब्रिक्स फाइबर सम प्लांट फाइबर्स स्पिनिंग कॉटन यान यान टू फैब्रिक हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्लॉथिंग मेटेरियल फर्स्ट कम टू द टॉपिक वेराइटी इन फैब्रिक्स फैब्रिक इज क्लॉथ और अदर मेटेरियल प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई उंग टूगेदर कॉटन उल सिल्क नाइलन और अदर थ्रेड्स फैब्रिक्स आर यूज फॉर मेकिंग थिंग्स सच इज क्लॉथ्स कर्टन्स एंड सीट्स Normally, when we see a fabric, it seems as if it is a continuous piece. But if you look at it very closely, we will find it to be made up of yarns or threads. Next, come to the heading fiber. When we try to thread a needle, the end of the thread is separated into a few thin strands. which makes it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle the thin strands of thread are made up of still thinner strands called fibers so fabrics are made up of yarns or threads and yarns are further made up of fibers fibers are of two types one is natural fiber another is synthetic fiber natural fibers again divided into two types one is plant fibers example cotton jute another is animal fibers example wool silk wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat hair of rabbits yak and camels silk fiber is come from the cocoon of silkworm but nowadays fibers are also made from chemical substances these are called synthetic fibers examples are polyester nylon and acrylic next come to the heading some plant fibers cotton Cotton is a common plant fiber which is grown in the fields having black soil and warm climate. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Punjab are some states where cotton is grown. Cotton wool is mainly used for filling mattresses, quilts or pillows, wicks for oil lamps, etc. The mature cotton balls burst and cotton is harvested by hand then cotton fibers are separated from the seeds by combing. This process is called ginning of cotton. Jute Jute is one of the most affordable natural fiber which is obtained from the stems of the jute plants. It is cultivated in rainy season. Jute is mainly grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam. When the jute plant is at flowering stage, the stems are immersed in water for a few days. The stems rot and jute fibers are separated from the stems by hands then the fibers are converted into yarns to make fabrics next is spinning cotton yarns cotton yarn is easily formed by pulling out the cotton from cotton wool and twisting the fibers continuously between the thumb and the forefinger This process is called spinning. The devices that are used for spinning are hand, spindle or takli and charkha. 
ड्यूरिंग इंडिपेंडेंस मोमेंट चरखा वॉज पॉपुलराइज बाय महात्मा गांधी एज ही एनकरेज पीपल टू यर क्लॉथ इज मेड अप ऑफ स्पून यान नॉन एज खादी एंड स्पून इम्पोर्टेड क्लॉथ मेड इन द मिल्स ऑफ भूटान to popularize and promote khadi khadi and village industries commission is constituted in 1956 traditionally spinning is done by hands but nowadays machines are used for spinning of yarn on a large scale then the yarns are used for making fabrics next let's discuss about yarn to fabric There are two main processes by which fabrics are made from yarns. One is weaving, another is knitting. Weaving, arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called weaving process. Weaving of fabric is done on looms which are either hand operated or machine operated. knitting in knitting a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric for example sweaters socks scarves mittens hats etc knitting is done by hands as well as machines coconut fibers are used for preparing mats nets ropes etc next is history of clothing materials in ancient times people used the bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and fur as clothes with the passage of time they learned to weave twigs and grass into mats and baskets they used vines animal fleece or hair to make fabrics but nowadays people use cotton to make fabrics cotton mostly grew in the regions near the river ganga flax is also a plant that gives natural fibers flax and cotton we are cultivated near the river nile in ancient egypt which were used for making fabrics in the beginning people did not know the process of stitching they simply draped the fabrics around different parts of their body even today sari dhoti lungi or tarwan are used as an unstitched piece of fabric but with the invention of the sewing needle people started stitching fabrics to make clothes which have gone through many variations till now the summary of this topic is cotton rolls by the process of ginning turn into fiber fiber by the process of spinning turn into yarn yarn by the process of knitting and weaving turn into fabric This was all about this topic. Feel free to subscribe, like, share your valuable views. Thank you for watching.